Okay, in this example, um, we're given that the cosine of x is equal to negative one-fourth and the tangent of x is positive. So um, we want to use that information then to find the sine of x, and that means the Pythagorean identity. So since the sine squared of x plus the cosine squared of x is equal to one, we can substitute in negative one-fourth for cosine of x, and we're going to need to square that. Um, we'll add sine squared of x and that's equal to 1. So we want to get sine of x by itself, so we're going to um, square this negative 1 fourth to get positive 1 sixteenth and then subtract that over to the other side. So sine squared x is equal to 1 minus 1 over 16 and we need a common denominator to combine um, those fractions and that means then that the sine squared x is equal to 15 over 16. And now we're going to square root both sides. And the sine of x is equal to plus or minus. And then we take the square root of the top and the square root of the bottom. So square root of 15 divided by the square root of 16. Uh, 15 is 5 times 3. That won't reduce, but the square root of 16 does reduce. Um, so we'll have sine of x is equal to plus or minus square root of 15 over 4. Now it can't be both. It can't be positive and negative at the same time. So we need to figure out based on our given information up here which to keep. So if we remember that acronym, all students take calculus. Um, we know that the A tells us in quadrant 1 all of the trig functions are positive. In quadrant 2, sine and its reciprocal cosecant are positive. In tangent 3, or in quadrant 3, tangent and its reciprocal cotangent are positive. In quadrant 4, cosine and its reciprocal secant are positive. So if we look back at this given information, we need the quadrant where the tangent is positive. That's 1 or 3. But also the cosine must be negative, um, which means this angle is in quadrant 3. And in quadrant 3, sine is also negative. So we're going to throw out the positive solution and keep the negative solution. And that means the sine of x is equal to negative square root of 15 over 4.